What is up, artists and movers? It's me, Galen Larice. In this lower body flexibility routine, we'll be targeting your hamstrings and your quads. And as always, if you really wanna level up this stretch routine and find that you're a little bit tight when doing these stretches, try massage rolling out your hamstrings and your quads using the peanut ball from the Motion Prep three-piece massage ball set, or using a muscle roller of your choice. This will help you release further into the stretches that are included in this routine and help you see results faster. And the set that I'm wearing in today's video is by Love Fitness Apparel. Love Fitness Apparel has such a beautiful color selection of solids and patterns to pick from, all inspired by their home of Hawaii. They sent me this cute little box of goodies and today I'm wearing their gorgeous royal purple urban seamless set. The first words that came to my mind when putting this on, you guys, is quality. I love that the leggings hug my shape without smushing my hips, and they even give my booty a nice little lift. The ribbing on the side and the little hardware details give them a cute, fashionable touch, and you know I had to hook you guys up too! So be sure to use my code GALEN10 for 10% off of your next purchase. I'll have Love Fitness Apparel and the Massage Ball Set both linked in the description box below. Now, let's begin. For our first stretch, we're going to go into a downward hang. Cross your arms over your head and allow your upper body weight to gently pull you toward the floor. Make sure your neck is relaxed so that the top of your head drops straight down toward the floor. And if you need to give yourself a slight bend in your knees, no problem. Go right ahead. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Ready? Set. to go into a downward reach. Keep your feet facing parallel and reach across your body to one side. Not only will you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, but if you're really reaching your fingertips away from your body, you should also feel a stretch in your quadratus lumborum and your external obliques along your side. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Great job, you guys. Now we're gonna go into our next stretch, the downward forced arch plie. Shift your weight so that your back leg is completely straight on dummy point. Then bend your knee while keeping that foot in forced arch and keeping the standing knee straight. You should feel this activate the muscles in your calves, in your quads, in your working leg, while also stretching the hamstrings in your standing leg. We'll continue for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. That one can be a little tough on those of us with hyperextended knees, so take a little deep plie in both knees if you need to. Next, we're going to do an inverted quad pull that will help you stretch out your quads and also test your balance. Begin by grabbing your back foot with your opposite hand. Then lift your knee so that your leg is extended behind you. For help with balance, find a point of focus on the floor or on your leg to stare at while you are in the stretch to help you keep your balance. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go.
did it! I promise that one gets easier the more you do it. Now release your leg and let's go down into a low lunge. Make sure that your hips are square here and that your upper body is upright so that you can press further into the stretch. This will stretch the hip flexors in the front of your hip like your iliopsoas. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Now let's press back into a kneeling leg extension stretch. Make sure that while you're here, you're pointing that front foot and reaching those toes toward the floor. Let your breathing relax your nose closer and closer toward your knees as you feel your hamstrings, glutes, and back relax further into the stretch. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Next, we're going to move into a kneeling foot and hand stretch. First, start by rotating your shin so that your foot is in line with your knee. Then, reach your hand down to the floor beside you. Now, bring the foot of your extended leg in and use your hand to grab the inside of your foot. Then, extend your leg. This is a seated version of the regular foot and hand stretch and allows you to focus on the flexibility and mobility of one hip at a time. You can even use this position to stretch your oversplits if you want by simply using your hand to pull your foot higher. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Now we're going to sit in a second position and go into a simple reach over one leg. Flex your feet and make sure that your chest is facing your leg as you're stretching. Try your best to keep your other hip on the floor and use your exhales as you breathe to release further into the stretch. We'll stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Now find your way to lying on your stomach. Here we'll simply bring the same leg you were stretching over in the sitting reach into a laying quad pull. This is a super relaxing stretch, so remember to relax the muscles in your leg so that they aren't tensed and don't prevent you from sinking further into the stretch. Let's stay here for 30 seconds.
for our final stretch on this side, let's push up into a cobra stretch, being sure to keep your neck long with your shoulders away from your ears. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. guys you just finished your first side so now we're going to repeat the stretch routine on the other side starting with the downward reach as you're stretching be sure to listen for the to know when to switch to the next position in the stretch routine i'll pop in every now and then so don't worry i'm not just leaving you alone ready set go Make sure that that back heel is really lifted in the forced arch. Keep going. eyes on that focal point. You're almost done. Be sure to make sure you're breathing. Let your exhales drop you further into the stretch. You're almost done. a check. Is your bottom sticking out here? Engage those glutes by pushing your hips slightly forward. This will also improve your turnout in this position and make sure that your bottom isn't sticking out when you actually go to extend your leg when you dance.
Be sure to press those shoulders away from your face. You're almost done. And that is it you guys! You just completed my full body flexibility routine for dancers. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and share it with a friend. I love seeing you guys do my stretch routines on Instagram, so don't forget to tag me at galen.larice. And for an extra challenge, try doing this stretch routine for 5 days in a row and share your before and after results using the hashtag galen's 5 day challenge. If you'd like to see more of my stretch videos and dance tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so you'll know every time I have a new upload. I'll see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later!